Hello and welcome back. Today we'll be looking at creating stairs in Revit. Creating conventional stairs in Revit can be very simple, but we'll also look at creating curved circular stairs in Revit that are not so conventional. The first step is to set your levels. Now, knowing the levels that the stairs will connect will enable you to set the parameters for the stairs. So the next thing to do is to set the parameters. Setting the parameters means that you know the spaces available to you to calculate your risers and threads. So let me say I have 4,000 mm vertical height between the two levels. I'm going to use uh, 150 mm risers, or I only have space for 24 risers, whichever the case may be. I can divide 150 mm by 24, and this will give me the estimated riser. Then after setting these parameters, knowing estimated number of risers you can use to create the stairs, in my own case, I will need 24 stairs of at about 166.6 mm height. You sketch it using lines in 2D form. This is very important, especially if they are complex stairs. It's always good you understand how the stairs look like on plan. And that will enable you to create your stairs very quickly. So I'm just going to trace out the idea of the kind of stairs I have in mind. Uh, from the images I showed you initially, I want to create a stair that goes uh, this way. But what I want to do is to first sketch it with 2D lines so that I don't make any mistakes while tracing it out. So I want to create something like this, but not necessarily this way. You can use this method I'm using to create uh, whatever kind of stairs you want. I have a total of 24 risers. So what I'm going to do for my first flight, I'm going to use uh, 14 risers. And for the curved flight, I'm going to use um, 10, 10 risers each. To do that. I'll use a line in the middle because once I create half of the stairs, I can easily mirror it. First line, this is the first thread of the stairs, and then I'm going to set uh, 300 mm. There we are, the radio that. Just because I want to be more creative than this uh, stairs being shown here, I can do some other things. Let me see if I can use a fillet arc and do this. After sketching the lines, I'll just go ahead to print the lines for the risers and create the risers also in this section. Use the print line to print them to get the center. And then use the array to select radial array, drag this point to the center here. Click, drag this point, sorry, to the center. Make sure it's at the center of the point of intersection. And then uh, select last, set the number of arrays to 10, and select this to this point. Then it divides it into 10 equal parts for you. I'm just going to ungroup, double click on one line. Uh, select this edge, trim it, and click on finish, and uh, all the old lines will be trimmed to that point. I can select this, mirror it to the other end, and trim it. Having a 2D sketch of your stairs, first of all, will solve the problem of designing the stairs, and then uh, you're only just faced with the challenge of modeling the stairs when you get into Revit. Now, to create the stairs in Revit, we use the sketch tools to do that. I'll still need this central line here because it's very important for this kind of stairs I want to create. On the architecture, you click on stair and then you click on create sketch on that component. Uh, we, have, we have three elements here. We have boundary, riser, and stair path. I'm going to start with the boundary. Now, due to the fact that these stairs, uh, when it gets here, it goes two directions. Uh, I'm just going to create half of this stair this way and then mirror it this other way. That, in that way, it makes it easier for me to uh, carry out the model without uh, stress. I'm just going to draw this line here as the boundary. Uh, then I'll use the pick tool to pick these boundaries. The boundary line is green, so, and then I'll use the riser tool to pick the riser. Since I've sketched it, I'm just going to pick the risers.
it's very important to note that the lines cannot cross each other while creating your stairs. The boundaries must form a continuous line inside and out at the external of the stairs we've created. I'm just finished sketching the stairs and I'm going to use the stair part to direct revit where the lowest stair is and where the highest is. So you click on the stair part, you start from the lowest point of the riser and then use the stair part to draw a line there. You can have a curved stair part and um, can continue this way and then bring the stair part to the end. After doing this, I'll click finish to finish my sketching. I'm going to come under dimensions, under dimensions and desired number of riser. So I'm going to set it to 24, though I created 23 risers because um, I'm going to offset the first riser so that I can make something like a core flat here for the first riser. I'm going to offset the base offset here by 166. Uh, 0.7 mm, so that uh, my desired number of risers and my actual number of risers are exactly what I, they need to be. Under this option here, I can select the different types of stairs that have been loaded into the project. Let me go to the 3D so that you can see what I've created. It's important to know that depending on the kind of stairs you have loaded within your project, you may or not, may not be able to create this kind of curved stairs. The reason being that for example, if I change these stairs to monolithic stair, for example, it's going to give me an error. So uh, before creating this kind of curved stairs, you should try as much as you can to search for different uh, family of stairs in Revit and then pick one that would allow you to create this kind of, of stairs. After this, I'm just going to go ahead to delete these stringers at the end, select and delete them. I'll mirror it. Select this, click on the mirror, and then mirror the, the stairs, and then you can have uh, it on both sides. So due to the kind of stair I used, these stringers are not joining properly, but uh, in subsequent tutorials, we'll look at how to work that out. So, but in the interim, this is how we can create elliptical curved uh, stairs in Revit. The next thing to do is, before click finish, is to set your type of handrail, which type of handrail you might want to use, depending on what you've loaded into the project. You can select them. You can also select the position of the handrails and then click on OK. So when you finish, so click on finish the project, uh, it's going to come with those handles. So I'm going to just delete these ones, uh, use the one here, uh, edit it, delete the center part of it, and then click on finish. With this, I can mirror the handles on plan, and uh, this is what you're going to get. Kind of curved stairs. This is how you model them in budget. So I'm going to see you in subsequent videos. Give this a try and let's see how it comes up. If you have any challenge and you want me to assist you with it, you can drop some comments in the comment section. So thanks. Check out my other videos and tutorials and tips on how to make these items in Revit. And I'm going to see you in subsequent videos. Peace.